this is the four meter rail it's actually four meters and nine centimeters and I need to cut it so that I can fit three panels and on the off cut one panel and it is very very tight and I just did the calculation for it so it should fit but um, I rather do the measurement and see if it really fits so we need 102 yeah that's exactly what I calculated as well so that's good that's a good start otherwise if I cut this and it is too short I'm in deep shit I'm in deep shit because <laughs> it will be enough for the three panels next to each other but it won't be enough for the one panel which I would like to mount tomorrow I would then have exactly 3 of 5.5 and I need 302 so I, yeah I've got two centimeters of play that should be fine all right let's cut it there 104 so I've got a European or German Schuko power board with an Australian plug because I never bothered for some of my electrical machines to actually um, convert them to Australian plugs so they still have the original German Schuko plug and this works just fine okay I just double checked my measurement after I cut them and it's all good so we've got 305.5 centimeters here and we've got 104 centimeters here for one panel just to confirm again that this will fit yeah perfect All right, guys, I just did some more measurement here. And it looks like, well, we've got to start with, we've got a problem here anyway, because these metal brackets here, they start rusting. Um, this is not aluminum, this is just normal metal stuff painted. And they start rusting and eventually my roof will rust here as well. So mm. they need to go. Um, I had the idea to use these um, brackets here, you know, just mount them here on top with one of the screws and then have the solar panels um, directly connected to this long hole and have these ones directly connected so this would be an option but of course the distance does not match the width of the solar panel so that's a no-go so I need to find another solution to mount these two solar panels a little bit further down so I've got more room for the solar panel up here and I need different brackets I cannot use these ones if they start rusting that's bad that is bad that's the least thing you want to achieve right <laughs> putting a solar panel on your garage and then it starts rusting underneath because you used the wrong brackets so at the moment it looks like we've got one two three panels we've got another one two three panels here and the fourth one goes sideways this way I just need to find a new mount for these um, panels here I'm happy to use these roof racks for that so if I if I bolt this down here and I have some rails running can I spread between both no not quite damn it a bit too short but this is all stainless steel so they won't rust this is perfect for mounting a solar panel on the roof you don't want to end up with this shit here really this is really bad 
That is really bad. Well, I have just checked all my corners where I've got metal and little bars and pipes and everything, all that kind of stuff. And I discovered this aluminium profile here, which could potentially do the trick. Now, let's measure it first of all. Let's see if it's long enough. Yeah, so here we go. Now we can use these stainless steel concrete tile brackets for solar systems. And then... Um, this aluminium profile now on the other side have one here and one there and then have the solar panel across these two bars I would just um, screw them down here like I have did with these ones just straight through the frame here that'll work and then I can move the whole two panels in one go all the way down can get rid of this pipe having this junction box sitting right on the downpipe which goes down into Andy's garage and we are basically done and then I'm flexible with the solar panel moving it back and forward a little bit the only thing I don't have anymore I don't have it on a tilt like like this one here now but is it worth it I don't know I would just mount it as far up as possible so it gives me enough room to get to the cables underneath here yeah I think this is what I should do now. Ah, look at this guys, huh? That is amazing. So I've got my first rail mounted and yeah. So this is the original screw going through the um, roof. We've got the stainless steel bracket for concrete tiles, an aluminium bar here, so nothing can rust anymore. And we've got the bar now, we are flexible with the solar panel, can move it a little bit further up or further, further down. And also in this direction, no, maybe not in this direction because we don't have any clamps for this rail. Uh, we're just going to measure this one again here, 45. And here we've got 54 in between, so 45. We've got a bit of slack here to actually mount the solar panel then. Perfect. All right, so the only thing we need to do tomorrow, because it's getting dark in half an hour, take these brackets off, take off the cables, and move this whole thing further down and then we are done and then we can mount the other two rails up here for the big solar panel as well so that's the plan for tomorrow